beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome if you are new to the channel, of course, as well. And welcome to another Love Tarot reading. This is a Love Tarot reading for the collective. Collective Love Tarot reading. This is for all zodiac signs. Today I am not doing a going through the signs and time stamping them. This is a reading that if you found yourself here, it's because there's a message for you. All the links are below. I'm going to get moving because do you hear my throat chakra? I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in a fire, you guys. <laughs> so I feel like I need to, to get moving here. It's kind of a push for me. All the links are below the tarotcloset.com. All the playlists, all zodiac signs messages from your person, very long in-depth twin flame readings. Also, the tarotcloset.com where I offer private readings. I will link all the decks that come through. Please remember all readings are timeless and these are also general readings. So take what is for you and let the rest go. The lover's card in reverse. You're probably wondering <laughs> what's going on there. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So... This is just kind of a recent occurrence on a video. They're they're calling this, I don't know, because it's, yeah, you know. So this is how we're going to do things here from here on out in any cards that maybe are questionable just to make everybody happy. It's the Lover's Card in Reverse. This is Gemini Energy. And this is very clearly a no contact and or in separation reading, but somebody is <laughs> rushing in. Look, yeah, whoa, guys, whoa, this is reunion energy. This is where this person on your mind, whoever is on your mind, your specific person, or who is popping up for you, this is where their energy is the strongest in my readings. This is the Four of Wands. I'm not surprised it's Venus and Aries energy. It's the energy, I mean, it's the planet of love, the wands, the idea of love, the energy of love. My gosh, my throat chakra is crazy. Look at this. The connection here is really strong. What's going on? Oh yeah, this person wants to talk. Look at this. What went on in this connection that, or what has been going on, I should say, on social media and the like, that has this person all bothered? <laughs> yeah, because they're rushing. This is someone who's been thinking for a long time about what they want to say to you. It's the King of Swords, you guys, in the upright. This is Gemini and Mercury energy. And Gemini, of course, is the chatty Cathy. You know, no short supply of words. Communication. All about communication. And, of course, Gemini's ruling planet, Mercury, is here as well. It's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So it can be that they're going to be sending a message. Could also be that they're going to be, you're going to be seeing each other if you haven't already. It's the Four of Wands in the upright. And this can be about, well, yeah, having a reunion. And it can be that you see this person somewhere. This is very strong soulmate energy. For some of you, this might be twin flame energy. And there's a very passionate connection, I want to say. And you can see here, right in the partnership placement, you know, coming in on the Knight of Swords. This person is, this person is coming in so fast, that the horse is scared. This is a powerful energy and it's a powerful emotional energy. Something, and I'm getting goosebumps as I say that something has stirred this person up and they're, they're getting, all the emotions are coming up is what I want to say. Really strongly because they've been containing them here. This is a really strategic energy, you know. So this person has been thinking while you're in no contact. I feel how to come because the lover's card in reverse is a lot of regret for bad choices. What happened here in the Devil's card, you guys, okay? This is a major arcana, of course. It's Saturn energy. It's also Capricorn energy. And Saturn is the planet of restrictions. It can wreak a little bit of havoc, I want to say. There's a strong physical connection here. And this person, I feel, again, has been trying to contain themselves, but they can't anymore. This is a very strong physical connection. Let's see what else is coming through. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
it's a little silly, but this is just how I'm going to do it moving forward. Okay, so we can see here that the devil played a part in this connection being, I want to say, having issues, slowing down, possibly coming apart. Because we see here in the lover's card in reverse that this is a, well, this is a breakup energy it can be just not talking to somebody, you know, no contact and or separation. For some of you, this might even be a divorce or a legal separation. It can be contracts in that way. Soulmate, twin flame energy, yeah. Soulmate energy, soulmate energy, but we're seeing here that the devil played a part, I feel, in what happened and why this Knight of Swords is sitting on this horse panicky. It almost might be what's going on in their head, I have to say. We see the world card energy in reverse that it's, you know, there's delays in them coming. It's slow. But this is also representing a lot of past energy for me today and what happened. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. They don't like change. Creatures of habit. And it's in reverse here now. So, yeah, there's some something here. Maybe you were already in a Four of Wands type of energy and somebody was afraid of that. Whatever happened, I really feel it's the devil card that played the part here, okay? And in the separation, this person has been thinking about coming to you. Look what's catty corner to it. Still having hope. It's the star card in the upright, guys. This is hope for a renewal. This is hope for that kind of like a miracle energy. Well, yeah. Really drawn to each other. Really drawn to each other. It's extremely goosebumpy, actually, I have to say. There's a strong connection that you have with this person. You're very, very drawn, and I feel like that's why they're racing in here. It could be that it's still slowed down here, and it may be that, well, yeah, this is in the, the inevitable here that you are going to see this person. And there's going to be, I feel like, yeah, an intense conversation between you because they have a lot of regret. And it can be there were arguments or there might be some still. Look, it's the it's just disagreeing. It's the Eight of Swords and it's coming in reverse right below the Four of Wands. So this person is was stuck, I feel. So that was the energy I was feeling. They were stuck in this particular... This can be a marriage card, you guys. So this person is coming out of that energy now. They put themselves here. Okay, it's a lot of emotional energy. They could easily wriggle out, take off the blindfold and get right here to the fortress, which is the journey of love. And that's what they're doing now. That's what they're doing now. It's catty corner here with the devil's card, really playing a part here, you guys. This is also coming to a six and that's making peace. I feel this person really has a lot to say. A lot to say, you guys. Let's get some more. I really need to know what what more is going on. Okay, so it's the Empress in the upright. Yeah, actually, what do I feel here? That this person is coming in a more emotionally available way. I mean, you can see that here. It's the divine, it's divine timing, it's growth. The Empress can grow anything because, well, she has all, she has access to all the elements water, air, earth, and fire holding that scepter and can really begin anything. This is Taurus energy. It's also divine feminine energy. But this is somebody, this is this person coming in in a very, a very different way emotionally, emotionally available, wanting to reinvigorate this connection, wanting to tell the truth. But I have to tell you this throat chakra, this fiery energy, look, it just moved here that, yeah, <laughs> that I'm feeling is because there's something they've seen. There's something going on that, that you've either, they've either seen, you've said, or they're hearing, they're watching, whatever it is, that they're feeling like they have to rush in. You guys, it's very clear that it has been a cooling off period. We see that, but that's exactly it. It's the breakup energy or the no contact and or in separation, I should say. This is the period of time apart. And then you come here, and it's growing things again. It's beginning anew because that's what the Empress can do. She can come in and take 
what has been destroyed and fertilize the land and make it grow. We see that it, you know, the thing is, is the devil card, I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the deck here. The devil card is also, and my eyes are really itchy. The devil card is also here connecting with the empress because th that's what has been slowing things down. Is it the energy of this person? Is it other people? What is it? Because I think it might have been them being stuck. Okay, emotionally stuck, lack of clarity, also some truth, because coming in here with the Empress as well is the truth. This is connecting to the fifth chakra guy, speaking the truth about this disconnection. They've been thinking about it for a long time, may have been held back by this devil energy, I want to say. And what is that going to mean for you? You're going to know. But they're coming out of it now, coming over here into the Empress energy. It's divine and divine timing. This is also communication. This is clear. This is an emotional, an emotional conversation. And somebody might be expressing wanting to go further. And it can be that this takes place via text message or email, that sort of thing, social media, you know, whatever. But it can also be that it's taking place in person here. You guys. And there could be some conversations about where this is going. This is soulmate energy. And this is what I wanted to show you. Yeah, it's the Six of Cups here in the upright. This is the Sun in Scorpio. There's a lot of nostalgic energy here. It can be that you've known this person since, well, you were little for a really long time. And it can be that's why you're going to be seeing them. So this won't be for everyone, but it's clear here that because this can be sometimes sort of coming home, you know, and include family and friends, which could be both of you. Could even be that something went wrong or that somebody's meeting somebody else's parents here or they know each other. That's not going to be for everyone, but it's for a lot of you because we can see it here. But it can also be that you just feel you've known this person forever. This is a really spiritual connection. If you're on a twin flame journey, a past life journey, it's also here. This is reunion energy. It's really strong for me, for a lot of you, that this will be at an event. But either way, and this is yours, either way, it is very, very clear. Let's move the energy. We're going to see what else wants to come through after we get the overall energy. Hey guys, <laughs> I caught the camera in time. There's another one here too. So this is somebody who is restless, who spent too much time or enough time in the Four of Swords. Look, that's the that's the Three of Swords there, of course. It's right before the Four of Swords. So this is the the energy of the breakup. This is where they've been for a really long time. And thinking about this, it's kind of like this for me, which is also the King of Swords, thinking about the energy here, the regrets, the bad choices that they made, wanting to come in and, and talk. It's really the same feeling for me. Going in here and recovering and getting clarity and trying to see things. This is the Prince, Princess, Charming card. It doesn't always mean that, that really big offers are coming. But it's in this reading, it feels very likely. This can be romantic proposals and it can be really big like marriage proposals, but it can also, whoa, yes, I have it taped here too. <laughs> it, and I'll explain a little more in just a moment, but it can also be a proposal of talking when you see each other or just talking here, sending a message, because this is clear. It's the same message here for me as it is here, thinking for a long time and kind of how they can get a message to you wanting kind of the fantasizing energy of wanting to just rush in. Now I feel that here. This is a day-to-day -day kind of issue, I want to say. So it can be, you know, one day they can, one day they can't. So it's it's all slowed down and we see that in the world card in reverse. This is the wake-up call that they're getting. Yeah. And that's the wake-up call I feel they got in the Four of Swords, thinking about the breakup, the Three of Swords that we see here that they hung up on the wall, the loss, the regret, and wanting to come here 
And it's the emotional energy that we know. It's a lot of emotional energy. It's like, it's like a flood. It's like a flood, you guys. Yeah, they're taking off their glasses here. And there it is, because it came in reverse. And that's the, yeah, I know. It's silly to have to put tape on like this, but it's just what I'm going to do, because... I really don't know what's going on with YouTube. It makes no sense. Anyway, it's the judgment card. This is about the two of you. This is about the clarity. This is about somebody getting a wake up call and toward their life purpose because it's been slow and that's what's going on here in the world card and it's really been slowed down. What is the devil energy? Is it somebody who partakes in something too much? Is it something they did? Could it be other issues? Because the thing about Saturn is you know, it's going to put in things, putting in obstacles, you know, and bring in family energy too, traditions, expectations. It's kind of bringing in the higher front for me as well, somehow here. But that is the kind of whatever's going around here is what was slowing this down. This is for me is coming up here because we see this person is having a wake up call. They're getting very clear. They're clear about what they want to say here. Here it's a little bit intense energy because they're rushing. So what are you putting out? You know, what's going on there? But, well, yeah, and this is Pluto energy. This is regenerative. You know, this is, well, yeah, making a decision. So did this person go back on something? Was there an offer? Did they run? Or is this the decision to come and send this, this message? I feel like not just an apology. This to me feels like somebody who's, yeah, emotionally, it's strong. It's an emotional offer. Even if they're coming just to tell you how they feel, you know, or you see them and you have this conversation. That for me is really very strong. But this is this past lover coming back. And I feel like it's for reconciliation, guys. Wanting forgiveness, wanting to air everything out very much. Sometimes this can be closure, but this is not closure for me at all. This, there's no closure. You know, not here. This isn't somebody, I should say, who's coming to get any closure. This is somebody who wants to see you. This is somebody who wants to talk to you. They're, this is someone who is feeling you pull away somehow. They've come out of the Four of Swords now. It came down here with the Knight of Cups. This person has been thinking for a long time what they want to say to you. And again, I feel like it's a floodgate opening. Talking about the regrets. Maybe what happened here. Why the world card was in reverse for so long. Because that's not going to stay. This is coming off. Yeah, look. You guys, it's the moon card in reverse. This is Pisces energy. Gemini and Cancer come through. This is exactly what we know already. My gosh. This is they this is them getting clarity and this is the truth coming. What's the truth? How they feel about you. Maybe it's more. What they wanted to, what they think about, what they can and can't do, what happened here. You're gonna know. But I'll tell you it's coming. You can see it. And it's really emotional. It's the moon card. And it's in reverse. So they've seen it. It's the moon and the sun here. The sun, of course, the conscious, the source, the moon, the subconscious, you know, that's bringing everything that's hidden out. And the sun is shining on the moon and lighting it up, giving us that beautiful full moon and showing this person everything, which in turn, I feel brought them here into this wake up call energy. Yeah, I mean, this is the judgment card, you guys. This is Archangel Gabriel. This is angel for messages. This is bringing everyone together for the greater good. So it's the message here. And for me, it's quite literally a message. And it can be for some of you, again, that there's a conversation here because they're unstuck. They're getting past the devil card. They're unstuck here. I feel like the world is spinning around and they're jumping on, you know, kind of like the Wheel of Fortune and getting over here to the Empress and going back here to the King of Swords. Everything that they want to say, it's coming, you guys. 
This is a wake-up call. This is the truth. It's clarity. I want to bring in another deck. I've been reading from this this week quite a bit. It's one of my soul decks. And, you know, as you do with tarot, you go through phases and what, where you're feeling called. This is where I'm called right now. Let's see what else is going on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Oh. These are in German, by the way, but it really doesn't matter. Look, look there's nothing even on here text-wise. It's the Four of Cups. This is them coming back in. So you might be feeling a little apathetic about it. It's more emotional energy. This is the moon in Cancer. This is them coming in because they have clarity with the truth, but they might have taken so freaking long. The connection here is very long, and if it's not, it feels like it. You feel like you've known this person forever, but you've been waiting a long time. This is the clarity and the truth that they're coming here, guys. Again, it's the moon in Cancer, and it's cancer. It's the water energy. It's a lot of emotion. They miss your friendship too. And it's been very clear here from the very beginning that this is a lot of emotional energy that this person has been holding back. And something has changed here. Something has changed maybe in their life or what they're seeing that's, yeah, causing a lot of restless energy. Huge wake-up energy here. temperance as well. This is not surprising at all. This is Archangel Michael here literally to light the way to the truth. To light the way to the truth. It's more soulmate energy. And this is saying that things are going to resolve. Even the star card, this, the illumination there. The truth. The truth. The truth. Clarity. Devil card has no chance here. Yeah, this is Sagittarius energy, by the way. And the fiery energy here, I think, might be coming from the devil because I'm just really, I feel like I'm in a fire, you guys. I feel like I'm in a fire. It's also coming from, I don't know, the, the, the speed, I want to say. It's the fastest energy. This is just hanging here. And that's the other thing. This is Jupiter. That's expansive. You know, that's... Literally, temperance here. Archangel Michael is here to show everybody to on the path, and that's to the sun, the source, God, goddess, the universe. That is to know. That's the crown chakra. That's to the path to the outcome. That's resolving the issues and getting, yeah, getting there into the sun energy, the 10, the new beginning, guys. Also deducing, of course, in 201, which is the same thing, new beginnings. The opportunity for that. Because temperance is here in the upper right to say, hey, I'm going to rebalance things out. I'm going to restore ha harmony. It's extremely clear and get you guys on the right path. So the two of pentacles here, this isn't surprising either because it can be connected to the devil card energy. This can be other people. It's not surprising if you're on a twin flame journey, that's likely what it is. But it can also be a job, a location, this person in their own way, you know, fear of commitment, whatever that is. But this is, yeah, kind of weighing out various options and making choices. So again, it can be family of origin, religion, cultural differences. It can be other people. But this person, I feel, has made this decision. It's very clear to me, you guys. And by the way, this is Capricorn and Saturn energy. Some more of that Saturn energy. Look, it's connecting right here with the devil card. Yeah, so it's the page of pentacles. They're, they haven't really been sure, but this is the reading and energy. Look, they're dead staring here at the pentacle. This is wanting to come in at another come in differently here. Lots of emotion here, you guys. It's, whoa, there's a lot for me. This is pentacle energy. Doesn't matter. This is somebody who I feel like is coming here with a message. Now, again, we can see that they haven't really been sure how to come and that's because they were here. So they could be going in and out. 
kind of confused now because I feel like this came in reverse, but did it come in upright and it ended up turning and I wasn't aware? I thought it was in reverse. Either way, they're spinners. It's just showing me that we know this person went in for clarity, which they're getting here. Are they too late? I don't think so. I don't feel like they are. I feel like you're still here in the energy. You're going to know that. But this is that, because this can also be coming down for us to say, well, this is where you are, recovering, separated. Because it's kind of like both of you, really, where you've both been, you know. And should this be what I feel like it is, and even if it's not, it's spinning. Because it's a day-to-day -day energy, so they could be coming in and out. This is how it wanted to be here, and this is this person getting restless here. Whether they're restless because they know they're going to see you at something in the Four of Wands. Maybe they're orchestrating something getting closer to sending this extremely emo emotional message and that you're still here. A little bit of apathy coming through, you know, sort of balancing on the cups as you look up and say, well, kind of to make a point, you know. It's interesting because they look full here. Or is that just an illusion with the sun? Interesting. Because this is an energy here in the Four of Cups of... Well, yeah, this person having gone and just coming in, and you're just kind of looking at it like, yeah, now what? So you might be here still thinking about all this, and it can be that there are, there's a third party connected to the Three of Swords, which is before here, which we know is here because we see the Lover's card in reverse. It might be hard for them to get to you as fast as they want to, you know? It hasn't eluded me that I have not got the overall energy, so I'm going to grab it and bring in some messages from energy. So let's bring that in, and then we're going to do some messages from their higher self. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Queen of Swords, you guys. It's more of the truth. This is person coming in. This person is coming in really honest about how they feel. Something here changed, either in their life or just the way they're thinking. They've just had a huge wake up call, and it can also be that they're seeing something going on, on in your life, or maybe you just got really quiet. Either way, I feel them rushing in. And this is the truth. This is Libra ruled by Venus. And this is what wants to be the overall energy card. This is hanging off, so it's yours. It's the lover's card in the upright here now. Look, sort of like seeing each other, you know, or talking. It's, it's like metaphorically, if you were talking, it's quiet. You know, there's like a space between, but you're connected. It's the lover's card. It's Gemini energy. It's, there's a lot of love here. We see it. I'm just not surprised by this. There's the moon and the sun, of course. And it's the lover's card. It's Archangel Raphael here again, now in the upright, wanting to help heal and help grow fertility, happiness here in this love connection. This is really clear. And if you, you might have had a conversation already. And if you're seeing this person and you're planning to, this is kind of the energy that I feel, you know, that like their stomach's kind of turning and everybody has something it's a deeper, there's a lot more deeper emotions than what might come out in a conversation, you know? Okay, you guys, I'm going to bring in some messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your person? Love messages. You have changed me for the better. Yeah, I mean, the devil card is getting buried here, you know. Key player, but I'm telling you, they're skipping over <laughs> here somehow. How are they getting there? They're doing it. You are my other half. Yeah, so for some of you, this is, well, for everyone, this is soulmate energy. For some of you, this might also be your twin flame. Either way, they're acknowledging the connection, and that's not surprising to me. I just can't seem to get over you. It's three. It's the most I take. So much regret. That's the lover's card in reverse. 
there it is. It was the first card coming down. And generally what's going on in the middle for me is what's going on. Not always. Most often in my readings. So much regret. There's a lot of regret. Serendipity. You were meant to meet. Fate. A destined connection. Our love is eternal. You guys. This is going right here with... You are my other half. This is the Six of Cups, the Lover's card. It's really strong. I'm going to put it here as they are connecting there. Is there anything else you want to send through? Our souls are connected. Our love is eternal. You are my other half. This is a really clear message. I'm very chilled here. So what does that mean for you? You know, what is what is, what are you able to grow? Wanting to grow, what was interrupted? What what were you heading for? What is still a possibility? Because we already knew that there's love here, but there's a validation. Can you forgive me? Yeah. Look, that's where that's going to go actually. I'm going to do this here. Because that's the four, look, this is the offering, the cup here, the reunion, that's the gift, that's what they're offering, is an apology, and maybe even more. And it's hard for you to take it, you're very hurt. We can see that. If you get the apology here and you don't get it in real life, that's what happens. But this, you've either had this conversation or will be, whether it's through, you know, technology or in person somewhere. And that reunion energy that's now buried in the Four of Wands connects directly here with the Six of Cups reunion energy. Lots of emotions for you. And Temperance tells us that there will be a solution. I'm making a plan to come to you. Yeah. Where is it? That's the Knight of Cups. That's also, <laughs> it's a little bit hectic, but that's also the Knight of Swords. It's just that I feel like they have and it came through very early and it's clear that they were kind of holding back that maybe something in their life or the kind of person they are. You know, I kind of get some emperor, emperor vibes. But what's going on internally is something totally different. That's the Knight of Swords, you know, rushing in here. Okay, so these are the last two. We are a faded connection, okay? We know that. It's been acknowledged here by this person a lot. And this is another acknowledgement. I hope you still love me, you guys. This is the Six of Cups. Can you forgive me in the Four of Cups? How long were they in the Four of Swords, you know? And are you in there? And what happened with the Two of Pentacles? What is that other pentacle? Right here connecting with the Devil card. They want to be honest with you. This is... The overall energy, the Queen of Swords. And German again, reunion energy there too. The crown chakra, they know they need to come with the truth. I mean, it's the Queen of Swords. That's your beautiful reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really keeps the channel going. Feel free to share. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when readings are coming that might interest you, as well as when I'm going live, which will be happening very often and very soon, just working out the internet. All right, you guys, I'm sending you love, light, all good things. Have a really great day. Have a beautiful day, okay? And I'll see you at another reading. Bye.